I'm very intrigued by the fact that you're playing the Royal Opera House because I think it's such a fantastic venue as well. And I, I like the fact you're a pop dance band that's playing a very grandeur building because I think that the elements of that come across in your music anyway. That's why we Susan called the, the shows Inner Sanctum because we thought, we were thinking what a contrast it was making this album and you sort of think, oh, they're going to premiere it in Ibiza. And actually, we're premiering at the Royal Opera House. But the Royal Opera House is a kind of inner sanctum, isn't it? So, so that sort of brought it all together. Was that deliberate on your part? Because I know that you've played the Royal Albert Hall before with the Alan Turing tribute. That you yeah, did. but the Royal Opera House is a very, very grand venue. Uh, and I think we're sort of going to, the music will contrast with the venue. They've asked us to do it several times, actually. But this time, we suddenly, with our manager, we thought maybe now's the time to do it. It was a new album. It's a sort of a big event. And also we like the fact that the Royal Opera House want to bring in an audience who don't normally go there. I think for a lot of people, we our first visit to the Royal Opera House and, um, you know, having the smoked salmon sandwiches. In yeah. The, in the <laughs> we are having room. smoked salmon sandwiches. <laughs> I'm we not are. going if, the, if there are. <laughs> I'm looking, I love the smoked <laughs> salmon sandwiches. <though. laughs> I love the fact that it is kind of unexpected as well because I just remember Susan the Banshees playing the, the Abbott Hall back in the, the early 80s and it was the same kind of thing. It was like a punk band or, yeah. you know, whatever you want to call that band. It, it's them playing the, the And Abbott also in the Royal Opera House, we We've turned the orchestra pit into a mosh pit. Ah, <laughs> that's great. The, that's the only standing tickets. Because I think your your shows are always very, you know, widescreen, I think, and also kind of unexpected as well, because a lot of people have that, that bracket of a pop band, you know, they, they're meant to behave a certain way. Well, also, we're lucky our designer is Devlin, who's done our last three tours. She, you know, she also designs theatre and opera, and so she's worked in the Royal Opera House um, quite a bit. Okay. So she knows... She knows the people. She knows the guys behind the scenes. Uh, she knows what the space, how the space works. So visually, are we allowed to know anything about we that show yet? yet? Oh, you don't know <laughs> yet. And we're still okay. talking about it. We've got three and a half months, but actually, I remember saying it was six months, and I was yeah. saying it's three Panic and a half hasn't months. set in just yet. <laughs> yeah, but it's probably not very far. <laughs>